Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. My name is Juji. Welcome to my channel. This is HD by Z. This is a space for anyone and everyone who's obsessed with human design like I am. I talk mostly about relationships and the system itself. Sometimes I do interviews with people, but today I'm going to be talking about the queen. And I'm not talking about her majesty. I am talking about Oprah Winfrey herself. Miss, you get a car and you get a car and you get a car. I'm so glad you're here because this is a very special installment. But before I get into all of that, I want to remind you all that if you want to work with me, my information will be in the show notes. I also want to let you know that there's a new feature on my website where you can make your own relationship charts, which overlays your chart with somebody else's, the kind that I analyze all the time on this channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Queen Oprah. And more specifically, we're going to be talking about her relationship with Stedman Graham, her partner of 36 years. Can you even believe that? They were actually engaged for some time, but they didn't actually end up getting married. And I wanted to take a look under the hood and see maybe if we could see why that is. So let's start with Oprah's chart first and then go from there. All right, this is Oprah. She's a generator. She is emotional authority. She's triple split definition, a two four profile on the right angle cross of the four ways. Now we've talked a lot about what it means to be a triple split, but just as a reminder, people who are triple split aren't necessarily here to be in partnership. They are here to have as many connections as possible, which helps them to connect the three parts of their chart that isn't connected to each other. So the more impersonal connections Oprah has, the more she can feel whole within herself. And that's not what happens when you're in a partnership with someone. When you're in a partnership, you can only be connected in the way that that person connects you and no other way. I also want to point out that the 1949 here, this channel of synthesis, which is called the design of sensitivity, is all about what the tribe needs to survive. And part of survival is bonding but in this case, it doesn't necessarily mean that they have to bond in a traditional way. So let's take a look at Stedman and see what his design is all about and then see the two of them together. All right, so this is Stedman. He's a manifester. He has splenic authority. He is also triple split, 5-1 profile on the left angle cross of Dominion. So here's the thing about being a manifester. I've said this before. Manifestors have a closed and repelling aura. They are very self-contained. A lot of the times, if you are an open and enveloping aura, like a generator or an MG, you feel like there's something that you can't quite reach in that other person. And so Oprah might have felt like, okay, it feels good to be with this guy. He seems really nice. He has this defined spleen, which I like, and we're going to take a look at their connections in a moment. But there's something that I can't quite put my finger on. There's something that I can't quite know about him. So let's take a look at their connection. All right, look at these two. So these triple splits together make a single definition as a composite. They have all nine centers defined together and look at this list of electromagnetic connections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven electromagnetics. We haven't seen this since I was looking at Charles and Camilla's chart together. And so obviously there's a lot here. There's a double barrel connection to the solar plexus. This is a very emotional relationship. Together, they have all three channels from the head to the ajna defined. So this is a lot of intellectualization. 
two more channels connecting from the Ajna to the throat. This throat center for them is so hooked up. It's insane. They have an ego connection together. They have an identity connection together. They have a splenic connection together. I mean, this is crazy town. So one would think that since I'm looking at this right now, these two would definitely want to get married. And in fact, in the 36 years since they've been together, they did get engaged once. They just never ended up getting married. Or maybe they did and we never knew about it. But everybody's been wondering for a really long time, why didn't these two actually tie the knot? And I guess part of it is, if you're not going to have kids, why? Why do you need a legal contract if there's no children involved and if you're two adults consenting to have a lifelong partnership together? I would say it was this triple split factor first and foremost, the fact that neither one of them is here necessarily to be in bonded partnership. They need a lot of freedom between the two of them. I would also say that because Stedman is a 5-1 and Oprah is a 2-4, they both understand the projection field that is on them. And they can both see that this projection is not necessarily the truth. So Oprah gets projected on as the natural, as the second line, and Stedman gets projected on as the hero and the savior, as a fifth line. And... This might be something that they were bonding over, but something that also could point to, well, we're not quite in a position where we want to project that onto one another. I also want to point out something that's in Oprah's chart that is important in this case because it's part of her Sun Earth cross. She has gate 33, which is the gate of privacy. Oprah has always been known to be a very private person, even though she's one of the most successful people in the world. We don't know too, too much about her personal life. We know her best friend is Gail King. We know that Stedman is her partner. Beyond that, not that much. She's the one giving the interviews. She's not the one being interviewed. So this gate of privacy is all about retreat. It's all about active withdrawal in order to make sense out of everything that's going on in your life. And you know what doesn't really give for a lot of room for retreat is marriage. <laughs> marriage traditionally is about spending a lot of time with your partner. And I guess you could say that as a modern woman, she's rewriting history. She's the one creating her own reality about what she wants. Now, he's very successful in his own right. So there's absolutely no reason for them to combine their fortunes. They're both very financially safe by themselves. In fact, Stedman has the channel of money. So he potentially... Um, makes her feel like she's more taken care of than the other way around, even though her fortune probably far surpasses his, just based on the fact that she's one of the richest people in the world. And being this sensitive being, she's very much about, you know, taking her time, creating this intimate bond, her fourth line wants to be friends before anything else. And so, you know, eventually you just get to a point where you say like, what's the point? You know, we've been together this amount of time. We seem to be doing well. She refers to them as an old married couple. So why mess with a good thing, right? You don't necessarily want to fix something that's not broken, They've already established the fact that they've committed to one another. They don't need that piece of paper or that ring or the hoopla or whatever. I also believe that because they have these seven electromagnetic connections and they know that they won't ever have that with anyone else, it's just kind of a no-brainer to them. I would also say that because of their individual chemistry, 
that they are much more prone to want to be these individuals that can cohabitate with one another, but not necessarily be in each other's auras all the time. I know that they travel a lot. I know that they're very independent. And so they found something that works for them and there's no reason for them to try and force something that doesn't come naturally. Oprah is at 2946. This is the channel of discovery, but it's also about making a commitment. She has committed to him and he has ego definition. So he has the ability to keep his promise to her. Their commitment is there. It just might not be in the form that we expect it to be in. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of information. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to get notified every time I drop one of these. I really enjoy making them. So if you have any suggestions for couples you'd like to nominate, please put them in the comments. You can also get in touch with me on Instagram at HD by Z. Until next time, thank you so much and ciao for now.